film industry is an amazing place. There are many young talent striving to become the next big hit. Can they succeed? Just last year, I was a student at Centennial Secondary School. My favorite course was Media Arts. This course helped me choose my post-secondary path to Capilano University. When I was in Media Arts, I was always wondering, was the equipment good enough? Am I even learning the proper things? But the biggest question was, is this course truly going to get me ready? I went back to Centennial to get the students and the teachers' opinion on this matter. This is Second Media. So basically, documentary is about if a high school media arts class gets you ready for film school or even industry. Okay. Do you think it does, basically? Uh, I think it gets you ready for CAP. Capilano? Honestly. I mm -hmm. It doesn't get you ready for full on. Anything, like you think if they go out right straight out of high school to... Filmmaking? Yeah, do their best to make short films. You think they'll ever get far with the knowledge that you learn from here? I mean, I think you learn enough here that you could go and do like YouTube tutorials on the rest yeah, exactly. ultimately, right? So if someone's a real self-starter and wants to go and do it, but I think filmmaking is one of those things I think you have to do with other people, mm -hmm. right? If you really want to get experience and you want to be like marketable as far as out there, I mean on set there's like on a big budget, you know, project there's 100 people, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to know how you fit in with all that. If you're just one guy, camera, and a couple friends, you're never going to learn what it's like to work with yeah. a full team and you have to have that skill. And so I think film school ultimately gives you that skill and I don't even give that. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. do that here. I can't have the whole class do one project. Yeah. I have two kids who might do something and the rest will sleep in the back. So <laughs> high school is a bit different. No one's paying for it, right? And so I have to, unfortunately, yeah. part of the way I structure things, I've got to do it so that, um, so that I motivate people to do something. Okay, so basically this documentary is about uh, if high school, film school, media arts is good enough for the industry or even uh, film school. Okay. So, what do you think? Is it? Is it not? Well, I've never, I've never been to film yeah. school, so <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. But I mean, I, I think, uh, at least in my, my class, Mr. Navani is doing a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, uh, I mean, we don't have all the equipment, so we're not really prepared for, I mean, you know, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use it there. <laughs> um, uh, but I mean, we do have tripods, and we do. You know, a little bit of stuff. So I, in a set, kind of. Mm. <laughs> That's the best answer I can give you. So, do you think uh, this course is good enough? Um. Well, I'd like to say yes, but. Uh, <laughs> Be honest. All <laughs> yeah. Like when I think about it, the majority of like the projects that I witness get done, and even like a lot of the ones that I do were basically people just messing around with their friends. Yeah. You know, sometimes like the, the outcome will be like a pretty decent project, but most of the time it's not like the degree of like professionalism or yeah. organization that I would expect from you know. Is that because of the teaching, the equipment you have? Uh, I think it's just because of like the mentality of like the most kids here. people who are in a film class. Mm -hmm. Like in high school, most of them aren't you know, dedicated to yeah. actually doing anything. First one is, are you happy with this course? Uh, it depends what you want to get out of it, but mm -hmm. uh, personally, I don't really. I'm not really looking into the film industry, and it's, it is a lot of fun. But if I, I feel if I was, I would not be too mm -hmm. happy because you can probably tell that you know you go in the classroom, you get like ten people there in the back talking. You know, there's three projects a year. You're probably working on like probably half the time mm -hmm. doing shit all. Would you want to change anything in this course, like the way? Where you teach, uh, like, like next year you might do this instead of this year. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm constantly te teaching yeah. stuff because every year you do stuff, you find out that. Well, every year, every year, you, every year I teach it, I realize that there's something that a way I could tweak it, mm -hmm. and then next semester I tweak it, and then I realize I could still tweak it, and so it's kind of a bit of evolution with that. And yeah. I keep coming up with new project ideas that I'll teach what I want to teach. Mm -hmm. um, 
That's just not going to thing, especially because the course is a bit more for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, the one thing I, it, it does help you is that you're kind of resourceful in a way because you're you know you think like okay I don't I don't have a steady camp let's build one I don't yeah. have a dolly let's build one right you know you think outside the box yeah you know, if you had all the equipment you know you, you have a high budget you know a large budget for your production yeah which is one thing that this school has taught us to mm -hmm. to be resourceful yeah yeah do you uh, uh, what would you want to learn more about in this course then if film uh, school or not film school I guess you don't care what would you want to learn more about DOP a little bit like lighting wise we've worked a little bit with that mm -hmm. and proper shots like they tell you like extreme close-up yeah uh, you know like, the basics the so, basics yeah. but like really I, I kind of realize it's not you don't really teach that it's just kind of you learn from looking at other yeah. movies yeah mm -hmm. and I guess it's kind of hard to, to talk about that mm -hmm. yeah. what would you want to learn more in this course that you, like if you do you want to go to the film industry yeah yeah so then what would you want to learn more of before you get there before you get to the school or whatever you're doing um uh, probably just more like, uh, you know, learning more, you know, uh, like, like, uh, specific things, you know, we, we kind of do like a very broad of like covering of most of the aspects, but we don't like yeah. get specific, like we, there was like a lighting workshop, mm -hmm. which was, you know, cool, but other than that, you know, like, I want to have like, you know, maybe like people who are really good at you know cinematography or script writing you know like, like to yeah. come in and talk yeah, about the course talk yeah about it so we get a better idea mm. you know instead of just having like a broad general yeah uh, do you know what a, a grip is a gaffer i don't know what a grip is i'm not sure what a gaffer mm -hmm. is They're like a do you, do you know? They don't, it doesn't go over the terms that much, obviously, right? We don't go over a lot of terms. Is no. there? Do you think? Is, do you think you should know the terms? Or I, like, yeah, I, I, I do. I do think we, mm -hmm. we should know more terms. I mean, Mr. Navani, I mean, he does go over a fair amount of yeah things in class, but he doesn't go over a lot, a lot of technical. Like we'll we'll go over what's to do with the project, but if it's outside of the project, there's no point. Yeah. And do you want that though? Like, let's. I feel. Yeah, I feel like it should because if I think. I have this image in my head of film class when you go to you know, university or college is where they're, you know, they're teaching you every little bit about film. Mm -hmm. You know, you have more than you know an hour to do your yeah your classwork in a day. So I mean, here it's kind of like it's only for a grade. Yeah. So we have that a little bit exactly.